Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 4 of this FIFA Wheel of Fortune series. And as you guys can see up on screen, we're going to get started and spin those wheels that will decide our nationality and our formation and the price of the team for this episode. So I'd like to thank you guys for your support on the last video and all throughout the whole series guys it's been absolutely amazing and uh, if we guys can hit 30 likes on this video that would be great and as you can see up on screen we're going to start off and we've got the nationality for this episode which is going to be a Belgium team so we're going to go with the Belgium nationality the formation we're going to be running is a 343 and then we're just going to find out the price which we'll find out in just a second also guys I'd like to know which sort of challenges and also what other nationalities would you guys like me to add in because I'm going to add in two or three more for the next episode onto the wheel so we're going to have 175,000 coins as our budget but yeah guys let me know about some of these challenges because a lot of people have been writing challenges all what I might do is implement that into the journey series so not too sure just yet but let me know what these challenges are and we might put them in for the next video but as you can see we're going to start with the goalkeeper Courtois over there 700 coins he is a really good goalkeeper for his price and as our midfield uh, sorry as defense we're gonna have Thomas Vermaelen over there for 1,500 coins. Not a bad player, and he's very good with his headering up front from corners. Vincent Company, also another BPL player for 28,000 coins. Now, this guy is like a solid brick wall. Let's very few players get through him. And also, I just don't know. They, they all pretty much, when you put these three defenders all together, and they sort of really cluster close together, it makes it very difficult for those players who actually play a central attacking way in the game. So, definitely great players. We've got Kevin Morales in form as our right mid, who costs us 40,000 coins. We're going to go with Witzel, who is going to be our centre mid with the four star skills, four star weak foot with. 800 coins only being his cost. Then we're going to have Fellaini and you can't go any Belgium team without him. He has 900 coins of absolute amazing for player and 3 star skill, 3 star weak foot as well. Then we're going to go with this, I, I'd say guys this guy's a hidden gem, his name is Van Damme and 250 coins, really cheap are for him and I'd definitely say give him a go, he's got some really nice dip on his long shots and he can play with both feet, I just found that it was unbelievable. So we're going to have Eden Hazard, 55,000 coins over here and this guy is crazy good. He's got that 90 pace which also means he's going to be able to run down that left wing and find Christian Benteke, who I really wanted to use in this game, guys, so I haven't used him yet, so that's why I got him in this episode. And 23,750 coins was uh, quite a really good player, I must say. I'd like to see possibly him having three or four star skill moves in the next game, because he's only got two star skill moves, and we got the second in form, Kevin De Bruyne, 17,500 coins, and he's got five star weak foot, so definitely good fun with him, because he was actually, that's what I found much better about him instead of Morelos as that right wing, because he can use both feet effectively but guys Christian Benteke over here he's like a poacher and he floats around that attacking area with his medium attacker work rate and he pretty much just swaps easily with anyone who's on either side of him so as you can see there just dodging the defender he only got he only has around 73 finishing so it's not too high but I'd see in FIFA 14 that would definitely be higher and look at this from a header he just bounces off his head and just goes into the back of the net but someone with any 75 finishing that ball definitely found the net very easily. So definitely say his stats are kind of underrated. But the way he plays in the game is unbelievable. And he just got some great acceleration that finds the back of the, uh, finds his way past all the defenders. And you guys saw that there. It bounces off the goalkeeper and finds its way in. So either way, guys, it, the ball sort of acts like a magnet when he plays. And just always hits the goalkeeper. Or just finds its way in off the crossbar, off the post. And De Bruyne over there showing you guys his five-star week for a great example of that. And he's got 82 finishing, which is not too bad. And you guys are going to see, look at this from a shot just sort of uh, bounces off the defender and goes in the back of the net that's one thing I loved about this team you could just hit the ball anyway and it would always just find its way into the back of the net and he's got a really nice high attacking work rate so means that he'll be actually pushing up more and not actually following back as much and you guys saw there another weak foot shot from him very nice clinical stuff he's also got 80, uh, 83 or 86 curve which means he'll curve the ball quite easily on a nice finesse shot and you guys are going to see this look at him outrunning the defenders even though they're trying to catch up with him and we're just going to make a slight alteration to his path and go for a nice finesse shot and the keeper's not able to stop that so definitely good stuff on him I had lots of fun with him and definitely the defense is a very strong point for getting those nice counter attacks and you guys are going to see here none other than the big man Marouane Fellaini getting on the header with <laughs> and just finding the back of the net and Fellaini guys has 88 headering so that means he's very good and also he's got a really nice high um 
defensive stats. So when you play him in a center defensive mid place, he will play very well. And look at that from a long shot. Just pretty much went into the top net either way. And uh, it's not bad, guys. He's got 76 long shots. And when a ball can do that, it is incredible. And we pick up a free kick over here. And I said, well, let's give it a go to Hazard. And Hazard was, uh, we're going to go for that mad curl. And look at this thing. It just absolutely rips past 10, goes into the goal. And uh, Hazard, guys, only 79 free kick accuracy, but he's got 82 curve. And that's one thing I really liked. It's a new way of taking free kicks, guys. I just like to have a bit of a curve on the ball. And uh, he is absolutely a special player, I must say. Had a lot of fun using him, especially with his four-star skill moves. And it just brings the game to life a little bit more. But uh, we pick up a penalty over here. And uh, we're going to go with Hazard because I think he's got the highest um, penalty stats on the team. So if you guys have enjoyed this, I'm going to pretty much wrap it up here because we're coming very close to the end. And I think that's about it from all the players, guys. As you can see there, we're just having a look for all the other players. But Hazard does have 88 free uh, penalties. So going to go down to the right. And he does find it very close to the net. And we're going to finish that one off. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please do drop it a like and subscribe. We're going to go again the next episode out as soon as possible. And this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.